Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 21st, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want the access to this full video, which is available only over at our Patreon channel. Patreon channel, this, the link is down below. Um, so we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally and then break down uh, below the 20 exponential moving average. And then we rallied again. And now we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. Um, I think that we're going to see another pullback below the 20 exponential. Even the uh, normal or simple 20 moving average here at roughly 90.07. And we're going to head towards the bottom of the bullish band at uh, 89.30. If you look at technical indicators, they're all turning around. And uh, stochastic is negative at this point. The CCI is negative. The, the RSI is basically at 50 in the middle. And the MACD is becoming flat. So uh, this was probably just a minor rally. Now we're heading back to these lows. And uh, if this um, previous lows here break then we're going significantly lower so this will have implications for for example uh, gold for uh, for oil indices and so on they will become much more bullish the further down this goes so let's look at the oil market so as you can see we uh, rallied up towards a 53.72 and then broke down and now we created this inverted hammer we are quite far away from the top of the bullish band technical indicators most of them are bullish at this point cci stochastic and rsi we're quite um, almost near uh, being overbought macd is basically turning around so at this point i have been expecting a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average roughly uh, 50.77 and there's where i think most buyers will come back in and pressure this up towards 55 so at this point wait until it drops towards 50.77 um stop loss underneath here and a target of 55 so let's look at natural gas so natural gas continued to fall we went all the way down to 2.45 and then we rallied and created this hammer here. But technical indicators are very bearish for this market. I think that we are going all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band before we see a rally towards the 50 moving average again. If the 20, the 200 moving average here breaks, that opens the door, well, all the way down to two, um, around two dollars here. And uh, after that, even lower, probably all the way down to 1.5 so weather has been warmer in this winter than than expected and therefore demand for um, natural gas has been well significantly lower usually it rallies substantially this time of year you can just see what basically happens here this was uh, back in 2018 and if you go back you will see even bigger rallies than that but we just haven't had those conditions this year so we can get the rid of this down here. We have a significant resistant line, which is right here. If we rally up towards this line, expect this to break, break down. If we break through this line, then yes, then we'll probably go all the way up towards $3. But that is not what I expect at this point. We have been breaking down very slowly uh, for the last well, month, uh, month or two. And this is most likely just going to continue. Uh, rallies are at this point, well, fairly to be sold into. So let's look at copper. So copper is gaining uh, some momentum here. We have had the three days of very, very small candlesticks here, just going gradually higher. So at this point, I think that 3.75, that is going to be our target. Um, uh, the 20 exponential moving average is holding really really well so we haven't we tested it several times we did not manage to break and usually what happens after that we rally to the upside at this point target is 3.75 stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average if you look at the 
technical indicators here, they are all turning around and that is a really, really good sign. If the US dollar starts uh, depreciating and then uh, again, this will um, most certainly go significantly higher. So let's look at gold. Gold has finally rallied uh, all the way above the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, if we look at this trend line here, we can see that we are getting really, really close to that trend line. So we did break through it um, a few weeks ago and uh, then broke down very significantly uh, all the way down to roughly um, 18.9 and then we have rallied all the way up towards 18.69. So at this point, if we look at the technical indicators, they are looking very, very, very bullish at this point, except for the MACD. So if we manage to break this resistance line and start trending above, then 1900 is going to be our target. After that, these previous highs here, you can see the highs there, highs here, and all the way back here. This is the area that we have to break through. That is 1957 and uh, roughly all the way up towards 2000. If that, if we manage to break through that level here, there will go to 2100 and beyond that. Long, long uh, term, gold should be very, very bullish. And uh, to short this, well, I am not in the market at the moment in order to short gold. That wouldn't make any sense. But we could see a pullback. So this was my analysis, has been my analysis for a really long time. Ever since we basically broke down towards these previous lows and rallied, uh, my analysis has been that we are trading into this corner and we're just getting closer and closer to that area. We could break through here. We did do it there and then broke down, but we could see a pullback underneath the 50 moving average here, all the way down to the 200 and just go zigzag into this corner and then break towards 1900. That could happen. Technical indicators here are very bullish. So yes, we'll see basically what happens here. So, but I have no interest in basically shorting this whatsoever. So silver. Silver has also broken through the 20 exponential moving average and is trading above the 20 exponential moving average at 25.81. Uh, we can see the technical indicators here are all turning around except the MACD, but it is basically pointing to higher levels. So it most likely will you know, break through the signal line tomorrow or on Friday. So this is a very similar to um, gold. We have major resistant now support underneath here and we also have major support above so probably much more support and resistant but we're right here in the middle so i don't like trading things that basically are right here at this point because we could break down towards this level we could also rally up towards this resistant area um, if we manage to break this high here and through this resistant area then we are going all the way up to 30 dollars but at this point uh, there's not a clear indication that we're going to do that at this point we could go back down rally and so on and so on so i'm just staying away from this for now so let's look at platinum so as you can see we broke down all the way to the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied uh, back up now we're at 1107 and at this point, uh, if we manage to take out these previous highs, then we are going to go uh, substantially higher from here. 20 exponential is the bottom of this market. Uh, pullbacks are buying opportunities and with a stop loss right underneath and the target of these highs. Technical indicators are all turning around, except the MACD is right underneath the signal line at this point. But otherwise, everything is very bullish. We are... A little bit high here in the RSI, but there is room to the upside. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we uh, continue just to stay in here right in the middle of things. We are trading within this area here, roughly these 
highs and these lows and we're right in the middle. So a break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 at the 2.183 and the break above here opens the door to these very highs at 2.5201. But at the moment we're right in the middle. There's no clear indication really where we are going. Technical indicators are mixed. MACD and the stochastic are bearish and the CCI and the RSI are bullish at this point. So um, in this case, I'm just going to stay away from this uh, because it is just 50-50 pure gambling in order to enter this market at this stage. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit here today. We went all the way down to 1.933 and then rallied, but we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average and also the 20 exponential moving average. And as you can see, we are turning around here in most of these indicators. But the question is whether or not uh, the 50 and the 20 exponential will be major resistant when we get close to this. If we go through the 20 expon and exponential and uh, 50, a moving average then we are going higher but if we find this the, these two moving averaging moving averages sorry being very resistant that could mean that we'll head all the way down to 1.9 and that means that we are going to go significantly lower we'll basically go all the way down towards 1800 probably all the way down to the 200 moving average but we have been in this situation before we broke below the 50 moving average also here, rallied above, back down, and then went on this massive rally here. Uh, but technical indicators are turning around in order to um, enter for a buy here. This needs to break above the 50 and the 20, stop loss underneath, and the target of these previous highs. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we have uh, pulled back a little bit towards uh, 17,984 and then rallied. And now we are, well, creating this little hammer here, but we're still down a little bit. We need to pull, pull back all the way to the 200, the 20 exponential before entering this market. Stop loss underneath and a target of these highs. Technical indicators are either bearish or flat at this point. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly, broke down again. Now we created this inverted hammer. And I think we are going to see the, like choppiness back and forward, but we are going down towards the 20 exponential moving average before going higher. Technical indicators are either bearish or, or, or flat at this point. And so, but in order to enter this, uh, this, uh, this um, trade, we need to, uh, we need to see this, um, pull back towards the 20 exponential with a stop loss underneath and a target of these highs of 0 0.1667. That is going to be our target in, in the first place. So uh, yes, just wait. It is getting, it is falling down to where, where it is uh, possible to buy into this. So let's look at, uh, we have cotton. So as you can see, we have rallied uh, quite a bit up towards the 0 0.8150. And at this point, uh, we, yes, I was hoping for a pullback towards the 20 exponential. That is what I'm waiting for. We are overbought still. Technical indicators are either bearish or flat at this point. Uh, so, um, so yes, it is too risky to enter here. A pullback towards at least 0 0.7885. That is where we should enter for this market in order to buy into this market. Um, yes, similar to similar to uh, to sugar, it is just a waiting game in order to get to the point where uh, we found support, turn around, and then we can buy into this. So let's look at cocoa. So, yes, it looked promising yesterday. We rallied a little bit today and then fell all the way down towards a 50 moving average. At this point, technical indicators are turning around. So this could, could be a false rally 
and we'll head back down towards these lows or the 200 moving average. We're still above the 50, so that is a um, good sign. But um, at this point, we are most likely going to head back towards the 200 moving average. Uh, so yes, we'll see what happens here. But um, I have no interest in basically buying this after. If this was a green candle, then yes, that would have been a very positive sign. And um, it looked really positive also yesterday, but it is just technically more of the same. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we broke down all the way down to 655, just above the 20 exponential. But this is probably just the beginning of this fall. You can see these technical indicators, they are all turning around. This is just uh, probably um, two or three more trading days where we'll fall two more and then we'll rally. And our target will be 692, stop loss and read the 20 exponential moving average. But these technical indicators are basically screaming that we are going to lower levels. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.